Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do some work on the journal pages. Now I just want to protect this little face so I've rolled up a just a piece of fabric and I'm just going to sit it over like that so it'll sit flat like that on my page. Now what I want to do is I came across a lady's channel and her name is or well, her channel name is jo, Jodie Fur. I'll have the links below. And she's got um, a video out on how to decorate a junk journal. And I watched it last night and I realised that it's the same way or the same method that I use to decorate my journals. So she's got this list um, of her ideas written down, but it didn't print out very um very big so what I've done is I've tried to read it and but I've come up with my own um, she wrote all her ideas down there of how, um, different sections of how to decorate a junk journal and her first one she called um, creating a base layer so I've just written that here in my this is my little ideas book um, I've had it for a while now and um, so once I've got all these pages in, you're just left with, you know, pages. So where to go from here? Um, laying down base pages or ba base things. So what I mean by that and what Jo means by that on her channel is things like stenciling, um, painting, um, putting down colour, um, book pages like um, dictionary pages tearing strips putting things in like that adding to your pages like that um, writing in write small writing spots circle shapes um, putting borders down putting stamping lines down um, adding some embossed paper just so so these are the sort of ideas that um, we're going to use today mine is going to be stenciling and I've, this, is, this has been my third take. The video has been playing up. So um, I've already started a couple, but I will continue um, some more with you. Now here's one that I did, and it just turned out absolutely beautiful. Okay, so what, um, what I mean by that is using our stencils to add some definition or just some changes to a blank page um, this one here I've used um, this stencil and I cut my own stencil for the leaves so I want to add I want to cut another stencil and I just want to show you how actually easy it is to to do that um, I want to just make a tad smaller one here so um, let me go ahead and just add some small leaves like that Oops. getting stuck on everything and then um, what I want to do is just put it on this end of my other larger stencil and let's just cut them we don't have to be super precise with this at, at all this is um a piece of stencil plastic and i bought it on ebay and it was a pack or a mixed pack um because i wanted to try making some of my own stencils this was a long time ago now and i think it was I'll oh, see what GSM that was. Oh, I've got it here somewhere. Okay, this is stencil paper and it was 127 micron. And I found that was the best for cutting some stencils. So I'm just going to cut some really easy stencils. Nothing elaborate. Um, come on. Just so I can add something to the pages. Cut. All 
right. So we've got that. We've got this. Now I want to do one. I just want to add colour to those blank pages and um, just make it come to life like that. I'd actually gone and done a few things while I was having the first go at doing this and it was just really annoying me. I don't know what's going on with my phone at the moment. Um, so you see I've added some here as well. I'll we'll add it to the next to the next um, signature because I'm not going to do everything online on um, I'm not going to do everything on camera because I find that this is the most relaxing part for me of making a junk journal and I find doing it off camera is so much less stressful <laughs> So, but I'm going to give you all a look at what I do. So, now this big flower stencil, I want it to represent just one big um, wattle sort of poof, you know, because <laughs> wattles are made up of different, just lots of different little, little puffs of flowers. And I want to then bring in this smaller one. Oh, where did my green go? Oh, let's just add some cream. And just to, a little bit of movement here, we're going to double stencil that. And then you come up with this beautiful um, beautiful stencil then that's just brought your page to life <coughs> excuse me so another thing we can do then with that I've got the bigger bigger one here I can use my stencil then my homemade stencil just to um, add some leaves like that Let's do, let's make these leaves go up the edge of the page. And I'm not super fussing over how, you know, these come out. They'll, they'll come out how they come out. Um, like that. And then I've got a, what's over here? I've got a spotty stencil. And I'm going to add my flower, my water flowers in with that and look at that it just comes up so pretty can you see that on there so that's going to give you some um, it's just going to lift those pages those flat pages where you think you know what am I going to put on here um, on the back of this one this is a start page. I want to um, I want to put some lines on there. So I've got this new line stamp that I haven't used much yet, and I'm just going to put some lines on that. I leave them on my plastic. I leave one um, piece of plastic on so it's easier to handle, and I don't get fussy how I ink it up at all. I'm going to put that behind so I don't overlap anything. Actually, I might put it on here. I might just put it on here. I'm going to put it straight over our picture. There we go. So that's added some interest there. I've got three line stamps. This one, one I carved myself, and this one that I've used a lot. So, so that's added some, you know, added something to that page that wasn't there before so we just go through then this is what I do I sit down and I just go through my um, where'd that piece of paper go I just go through my journal like that and I'll add the stenciling to pages that are um, you know that aren't, are a little bit boring 
So let's add some pink dots to this one. So they're my bottles because I want to keep within that yellow and um, green theme. And we're just going to add just some little leaves to this one. Like that. And that then can just, just lift your page. Like that. I'll take that away so you can see it. So, though, putting down some bases on your paper, that's, um, is, you can add words. I've got word stencils here as well. That could go nice. But I'm not, I won't add words until I know actually um, where other decorations are going to go. So, I like to leave my words till last. So that looks pretty. Well, let's add a few dots into that too. Because um, wattle isn't all, um, they got different shaped leaves, all different wattles. So that's looking nice. So these, especially these thin pages, I like to um, just decorate, not necessarily um, stick anything to. Now here's some of this beautiful um, what do you call it? The gel plate that I did. I loved how that turned out. Now what are we doing? Let's get another mm. So it's just a matter of um, going over your whole book like sitting here and just going through and through your book. This one here, I'm not going to finish the flower. I'm just going to leave it like that. <coughs> Excuse me. And that's just added some interest to that page. And you can still write over the top of it. We've got some cute little dots come through from that piano paper. Um, all right, what else? Uh, let's add some more leaves up here. Let's just add a cluster of leaves. And then at the bottom, just a little cluster of the, of the wattle. Like that. And that's just the quickest decoration that you can do on your page so we'll just keep going and looking at what we can do like that a couple of dots came out on here but that's okay um, I don't know whether to color I'll leave the coloring pages these ones here this one's a nice yellow one so let's put some yellow dots down the edge of that one that and let's go over and do some secondary ones that just be lighter makes it look like there's something in the distance and then we're just adding a few leaves like that and it's as easy as that like that's just you know so easy to do and it'll just lift your page immediately all right i like the back of here let's decorate that actually i might that's a bit thicker page so i might leave that Let's decorate one of these, these um, doilies. All right, so let's go round the edge with yellow. Wow. 
And to frame this in, I'm going to put some green around the square and immediately then my eye is going to be drawn to that square then in the middle and that's going to give me a little bit of writing space or whatever. Okay, you can see how then that's come up. And it's quite pretty, isn't it? You could go ahead and add lines to that or just leave it. I'm just going to leave it. It looks cute like that. So here's another big blank page. Let's do another one of these big flowers on here. I'll just check the time. We're going for 15 minutes. All right. Um, let's add another one of these. These are just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. My table's really floppy. Make that in more intense in the middle. And then I'm going to bring it back in and just go over that so it gives it's not got those dark white then in the in the um, cracks all right bring my homemade leaf stamp in I just want to mask off just where um, the flower is I don't want the flower to get the, all the green on it and let's do a double leaf oh, I'll go this way Like that and then let's come down this way and my leaf then is just going to go off into nowhere on this side and then that's my stencil done on that page and because it's so light you can easily write over that you could even um, um, just add just a tiny little bit of lines like this just just a tiny amount put that up in that section and it just gives you the hint then that there's lines up the top and sort of like a little hint hey right here all right, so another idea was um, that I had was these these sort of stencils as well. You can add lines to something like this. And that says, hey, come right here as well. So that's all you need to do is just go through, um, check out, what's what each page might um what might look good on each page and i'm going to go i'll go ahead and do all the stenciling that i want in this and then before we go on to something else i'll show you what what i've actually done with it <clears throat> so here's another i like this um tea dyed paper. Where's another idea? Um, like we have things like that as well, but I might just leave that for a second. Um, let's get some colour up here. Just dropped my piece of paper. Now this one, I might add some of these little leaves. Just for something different. So if you're new here, I would love it if you'd subscribe to my channel. Press that bell button to get notifications 
and um, yeah, as we go through this um, decorating this journal, and that's all I want on that page. I think that looks nice. We could even just edge that with a little bit of yellow. Like that. Alright. What else have we got here? These here, these um, doilies, I like to um, put some colour on them. So let's put some yellow around this one. And let's um, put some lines on it. Okay, and it's as easy as that. I like to do the other side of that too and just give that a border so you don't see the white cut edge so that then has got something on it um, let's just put a little, tiny little little leaf on this one like this like that I should have put my thing at the back of there and a couple of dots And how pretty is that? It's just tying it all in with the wattle, the leaves, the green, the yellow, the green, um, the bush, etc., etc. So yeah, that's why I love to do these um, the stenciling. It just lifts those blank pages. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do all this book with different bits of stenciling. Okay, so this is um, my first base layer finished i've gone ahead and then and done all the i'll take you for a quick flip through done all the pages that i thought could just be lifted a little uh, and i'm talking with stenciling here so that's all i've done is the stenciling throughout this journal i'll try and flip through quite quick there so I've picked all the pages that I want stenciling on and just sort of mix the patterns up and um, put them on those particular pages. Just put added some colour to that there. That there. There's some stenciling on the yellows and the green pages. A little behind that. And that, then that just repeats all the way through here now, just to give it a really, um, um, you know, a, a look that's all in a theme. It's all got the wattle flower all the way through. Even though these a lot of these gum nut babies, um, I couldn't get, you know, all wattle baby flowers, uh, wattle baby pictures, um, it'll tie it all in and bring that wattle theme all the way through this journal love those jelly plates that I did they come out so beautiful this is a second signature still tying it all in and there so this is my first layer that I want to put down base layer I'll, um, the next video, I'll be probably putting book pages down as another layer. So, um, that will be coming up in my next video. So there's a few base things I want to do to it before we build out to pockets and tags and things. Just to, um, um, bring this journal to life. I hope you can get a good look at all the stenciling that's been done.
and then we go on to the last um, yeah this is the last signature this one here so these darker pages here that I jelly printed this is what I'll put some book page on and things like that just so there is a space there to to either write on or whatever so I'll do all that in the next video coming up I liked how that turned out on the tea dried paper like I didn't do the full full flower of the stencil I just used the just just the tiny center added the lines here there's plenty and plenty of spaces to write in this journal and then we'll get pockets and you know other things in but that will be in the next um, part so um, we'll concentrate on these few base base layers first and I'll have the links there to I didn't do that one I'll have the links there to Joe defer defy defer um, her channel anyway and you can have a look at her um, um, how to decorate a junk journal the, the three parts she's written and it's quite easy to just sit down and do that yourself and because everyone has a different style different thing they like to decorate with and you can sit down then and put that in your ideas book of um, what, what you can do to decorate your own junk journals So it just goes, yeah, right to the back with decorations. So they're the, the stencils that I've used, a spotty one, just a basic flower one. And I've used it half, like in half, I've used just the center, the full bloom. This is um, another leaf stencil, just gives you a different leaf choice. They're the homemade leaves that I cut into some of my own stencil film and there's some um uh, what do you call it writing lines that you can stencil on most of those stencils i got off aliexpress except for these two the homemade one and that one i bought at the reject shop i think yeah so and then i've also added in different lines with the stamping okay so that's my first base layer of this junk journal done so I hope you've enjoyed that and I will catch you again real soon for the next part of um, the laying down the base layers okay so stay well stay happy and I'll catch you next time bye